New study could have detected Dyson spheres? I doubt it. But let's see. Well, a couple of things. If you're looking at invisible light, the kind of light that the sun primarily gives off, they would be blocking that light to absorb that energy for their needs. So you would see an ordinary star just begin to disappear as they built structures around it to absorb that energy. There's an interesting fact here. Well, there's no such thing as a free lunch in the universe. You can't just take the sun's energy and then have the energy disappear. It manifests in other ways. You know how it manifests? as heat, heat. You know this intuitively, even if you've never thought about it. If you have an internal combustion engine car, the kind with pistons, right? You put in gasoline, that gasoline burns via pistons and spark plugs and all the right to move the car forward and the engine gets hot. Your use of that energy not only propels your car forward, but also turns into heat. If there's a civilization that managed to completely enclose its host star, it would get rid of all the visible light because that's high quality energy that it's using. It takes that light through the solar panels. The star would slowly disappear from a quote, a regular looking star and would ultimately appear as a red glow in your infrared telescope. So there was a recent study in a peer reviewed journal, the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, one of the more respected journals in the world of a study that's just simply looking for these red, these red glowing blobs in the galaxy, in the pre-existing data that's already out there. So out of a sample of millions of stars, they found seven candidates that might be one of these type two civilizations, or it could be some gas cloud that was warmed up and is radiating infrared. <laughs> so 